Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done this yet. Today we're going to be doing something that is not as fancy or anything, it's more like a repair job. Now, my car is a Police Pursuit version Dutch Charger. And in the rear doors, th th there's no there's no dual handles. I'm going to show you here in a second. There's no dual handles in there, but I managed to go into a junkyard. I was lucky enough to find door handles and all of the pieces that I need in order to repair my car. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of us out there that, you know, we bought the Police Pursuit version of the car. Now, we wanted to daily drive it. We wanted to be able to enjoy the car every day and not have to actually get up the car and open the door for anybody that you have in the back seat, just like if it was a prisoner or something. So, um, this is my video on how to install a door handle here. As you can see, there is no door handle in there. Also, there is no door lock. So I managed to get the rut that goes from here into your latch and the door handle and there's a cable that goes in there. Now I'm going to open this panel so you can see what is behind it. All right, in order for us to get this door panel off, we have to remove this cover right here. There's a screw behind there and underneath here, there's another access panel here that's a screw underneath. So I got a pick. You can use a L pick or a crook pick. Get your cover off. Same thing with this side. And get it to open. It's good enough. I guess you, if you can grab it from the top, will be your easiest way to open it. Um, get it off. So Once you get your access panels off, there's a screw. Phillips screw right here. I'm going to take that off right away. And a Phillips screw right here as well. And there you have it. So, we put all this to the side. So, a simple molding tool will do the trick. You just get it in there. All right, so once you have all of them pop, you're just gonna have to pull up on it. All right. Mm. Behind it, you're gonna have a cable for your door light. You can unplug that now or unplug it before you remove the door panel. And your cable for your, your window switch. Simply just press on the locking tabs off, pull and out, no problem. Once you have your door panel off, go ahead and remove your door handle cover, which is pretty much where the door handle is supposed to be. Get a tool over here. This is where you put your new door handle. I'll bring it over. Right, so I went to a junkyard and I was able to pull out this door handle and the cable from it. But you can also get this part from the dealership. I mean, they are very inexpensive. But I went to a junkyard and get them because I don't have money. The cable, it attaches in a very peculiar way, nice and easy. It has a slot right here. You put the cable in there. It's like a, like a bicycle brake cable material. And then once you get it inside the slot, you clip it on right there. That's it. You're done. That's all it takes. Now, it will be a lot easier to install the cable if it's not attached to a door handle. Because the door handle, you're going to attach it to your door panel. So, uh, leave it off. I'm going to show you how to attach it into the latch. First off, you're going to have to remove all of these bolts. They are 10 millimeter. All of the bolts needs to come off. Second, they have these locking clips. It's more like a clocking clips to hold this panel in place. Just unlock them. There is one here, two, three, and there's four. One more right here. You got to get them on hook. Now, there is no need to unplug anything whatsoever. There's no need for you to unplug anything else. You're done. Now, 
to make more space when you remove this door panel you will have to unhook the window so to separate your window from your regulator you bring your window down like this is enough where you can actually reach over and in and there is a plastic hook on the window that you can reach from behind the glass pull it back and then pull your window up there regulator loose now I strongly recommend that while you're working on this regulator and it's not on the regulator put a piece of tape in here to hold the window up which I'm gonna do that all right now that you have removed your glass from your regulator and your regulator should be all loose ready to go now it won't go right away because there's a plastic part right here that is holding it from going anywhere so I pull up jink on it and that direction so why you need to do that so uh, this part right here is attached to your latch and it is hooked right in here and that's why I told you to remove this bolt from here so <clears throat> This can get loose. This is part of your latch, the whole plastic bracket that goes in there. So now that you have that loose, you should be able to reach in here and follow where the cable goes, which is the connector for your latch, your electric latch. Loosen it. Okay. Remove the cable. This cable, remember how you took it up, you're gonna put it on the same way, otherwise your door locks will not work, okay? Now that we have the regulator completely off, just let it down away from the area that you're gonna be working on. So the goal in here is to be able to remove the latch. Now the latch, the latch has three screws right here on the door. You can loosen them up and it also has a plastic bracket that goes all the way in here. All right. So, right in here, there's this plastic bracket. This is going to be very and extremely difficult to remove. It has a clip right here and the same type clip is in the bottom of it. So you have to find a way to open this while you're pulling it and out. This right here is a stopper, so it will stop you from trying to guide it out. So you're going to have to multitask and find a way to move this out, this one, and the one at the bottom, all at the same time in order to be able to remove this bracket. This is attached to the back of the latch, and the latch is attached to all of this. So, and then there's these three screws right here that you need to remove. There's no alignment for the latch. Because the screws are self-centered, they're cone shaped, so they're self-centered, there is no adjustment for it, so it does not matter. Now that we have our latch nice and loose, we're gonna pull this up right here, like I was indicating. And try to get it out all at the same time. Alright. Just in case you don't know what I was talking about is this right here. This, this bracket will clip on on it nice, very tight. Now we don't need to do much right here. Yeah, we're pretty good. All we need to do right now is to remove this plastic cover. This is the access panel that's gonna allow us to put the locking rod right here and the door handle cable, it goes in this hole. So, they got these tiny little latches on each one of them. Should be able to just unhook them. All right, this access panel. I broke one of the locking tabs just now, but I managed to save the rest of them. Mind you, we're performing a surgery, so. In surgery, when you perform surgeries, you're going to have minor complications like that one. All right, now that we have our latch access panel cover taken off, now we can, you know, work with it. Now, we do need to install a cable 
and a rod. So let's do that. Let's start with the cable first. The reason why I want to do the cable first is because, you know, <laughs> it's in there. It's in there big time. So there is this lever right here. That's the lever that we're going to be using. So <clears throat> you see it has that nice little shape, square shape or S type shape. You got to snake it in there where we're going to end up with the cable. All of this part of the cable inside of the hole and this section out of side of the hole. So this right here is going to swivel in here. So I put it in. And there you go. Now, that's where we, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but that's all there is to it. Now, when you're done with doing that, simply hook it up right here. And you're done installing the cable. Now it has a cable. Now, to install the locking rod, right? This is what most people call the lock. Same type of snaking inside of it. It goes in this hole right here. Obviously, because it goes right above here, this access panel. We're going to snake it in there. And let it. Now we got our lock right there. There. Now, once you're done with all that, you simply just put your cover back on. Nothing to it. There is no glue, no magic, no wizardry, or nothing like so. This rod was going to stay outside. Obviously, the cable is going to come outside regardless, and no matter what. So, simply, let's place it back on. So, in your regulator, you're going to have this, like, foam covers right here. Foam covers. So your cable goes through in the horizontal one for obvious reasons. And this one goes through the upper one, upper hole, for obvious reasons. All right. Now, again, before you close it out, make sure you put your latch plug in there. The same way you took it off. All right. All right. So, same thing again. Find a way to slide it in there on the plastic. I'll put my hand inside of it, trying to keep that plastic from pushing in. So. It also will help me see whether I'm inside of it in the channel or not. There you go. All right. So I'm in there now. And okay. Let's put on this yellow mounting clips first. You also got the green ones right here. Now, as far as the lock, there is a rubber seal for the lock. Uh, unfortunately, when I was removing this from my junkyard, I ended up breaking the rubber seal in here. So, it's not useful. But, I don't care. But if you do, go ahead and replace it. Put a new one on. Should be good to go. Once you're ready to lower your window, take your tape off. Bring it to the latch. What I was talking about, pull it a little bit, and there you go. That is it. It's in there. It's all level now. Now it's a matter of putting a drill panel on and moving on. Now, remember, this is for your light, your floodlights. This cable right here that has been dangling this entire time, this is actually the light for your door handle. Dutch doesn't really take this off or cut them off. They're part of the main harness for the door. So they don't see it why to take it off. But you plug it on your new door handle and will lit up. The door handle will lit up. No problem. And if it didn't lit up, then you go on your OBD, Alpha OBD options 
and change it to on position. This connector right here is the one that connects to the ambient light on the door panel. Unfortunately, I didn't find a ambient light in the junkyard that I can use for the door panel. So we're gonna just leave it on. But if you have an ambient light that goes in the door panel, it goes right underneath here. If you have an ambient light that goes in there, then that is your plug for it. So let's put the new door handle. You do not need to put the door handle on the door panel before you put the cable on. Just simply put this on right here. All right, and then flip it, put it through the hole of the door panel, and then clip it. It's just a clip on. No kidding, it just clips on. Now, uh, we got this cable. Now this is gonna be on here. This cable doesn't reach, okay? <laughs> now it does. So, let's put this in here. Now we have a door panel, door handle on the door with a door lock. All right. So let's put the door panel together and be done for the day. Now, if you're having problems like I just did, trying to install a door panel with the weather strip on there, take it off the door, install it first. Oh, right backwards, this way. Install it in there first. Don't give yourself a hard time. I go that way, that side first, goes inside this plastic, same thing in this side. Make sure it goes underneath the plastic. And there you have it. Once you get the door panel in here, it should clip on on this tab, so we're good to go. Door handle, brand new. Let's get it in here. There you go. Put the screw on and the cover that you had from before or if you have a new cover put that in there put screw on and put the cover back on put your window up and you're done so you can open it see i'm going to show you it works opens the car see this is a door handle right there i'm opening from the door handle inside it works no problem so a couple of announcements pardon the person trying to chop a tree back there uh but a couple of announcements i am not gonna be making videos until i get my garage situation resolved and the parts actually arrive i order a bunch of parts and they haven't got here yet that's i don't know why um but needless to say thank you very much for watching thank you very much to all of my 550 subscribers that i got so far appreciate you really do appreciate you so make sure you share these videos and you like them as soon as you see, as soon as you play the video, hit the like button and it really does help the YouTube algorithm understand that this is supposed to be seen by a lot of people. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and have a great night.